Hi, I'm Deb from Skating Sisters. So today we're going to talk about swatching, which I know is your absolute favorite topic, right? We all love swatching, but I'm, I've been swatching for the Alpine Bloom Tea. I have got some Spin Cycle dyed in the wool at home, which I was using for another project and I think I might actually pull that all undone and start again because I'm not, I've got to a point where it's super boring and I'm not sure that I could actually do the rest of the jumper and it's too precious to not use, right? So I thought that I might mix it with some Pepin 4 because I really, really love the Pepin yarns and I think you can have, um, you know, a, a really lovely hand dyed or something like the Spin Cycle as your, as your um, contrast color and then have one of the commercial yarns as your main. It's totally great to do that. Now, this one is called Pond, which is a beautiful color. Um, and what I'm doing is swatching in the round. Now, why do you need to swatch in the round? Normally, you would just go back and forth, right? But if you're doing a jumper that's top down, so we've cast on at the neck and we're working down our jumper, we're going to be doing knit the knit stitch the whole way around, right? There's gonna be no purling unless you need it for texture or something. And I'm gonna hold up this amazing book again Paddy Lyons Knitting Bag of Tricks. Um, in here, it talks about the shape of stitches. Now, apparently, knit stitches are short and wide, and purl stitches are longer and thinner. So you can imagine, if you were doing a swatch flat, you would have one row of knit stitches, short and wide ones, one row of purl stitches, which are taller and thinner. Compare that to having to do, so that would be knitting a jumper flat, right? That would work. But if you're doing a jumper in the round, you're only doing knit stitches. So you want your, your swatch to do the same and to have only knit stitches, the shorter, wider stitches, or else your gauge is gonna be really wrong. And that's the point of doing a gauge swatch, right? So the swatch really means that you have to do exactly what you're gonna be doing on your jumper when you're knitting it which is why we had to do it like this. Now, it looks like a bird's nest, right? So, but it's not really very hard, and I'm going to show you what you're going to do. So, say I'm gonna make up some numbers. My swatch, I need to get 26 stitches in 10 centimeters. With one in the round, you do end up with all of this kind of loose stuff at the edges. So you want to be casting on at least 40, at least, if not more, because where you measure it is going to be in the middle here and you don't want to be affected by the, the loose daggy stuff on the sides. So I cast on that, you know, about 40, 40, 45, something like that. I did a couple of rows of garter stitch just to, to have an edge to it. And then I started doing it in the round. And what that means is, I'm going to just show you here. It's easier if I just around and I'm going to knit continental style because that's how I knit. So I've knit across this side right and I'm just going to keep going right to the end doing my new special trick of sliding my needles along my other needle to, so I'm nice and tight and even. That one was twisted. So I'm at the end now and you can only do this on, on circular needles what we have to do is pull our needle all the way through to the other end again and get this and I make a nice big loop right like that so it's not going to be tight and you start from the beginning again so start there and then just make sure that you've got the end that goes to the ball not the other one I've done that before and then you just start knitting across and do the same thing all the way across. Get to the end, slide it, form your loop, and so on. Now, I will just get to the end so that it's easier to explain. When you're blocking this, because you always have to block your gauge swatches, you need to cut those yarns. And I know that you don't like to waste yarn, but it's really important for it to be, you know, for you to be treating it the way that you're going to, you go, I'm in the middle, that's all right. Um, once, once you 
you know, wear it, lock it, and all of that. So you just snip through those ones there and you end up with a flat piece, right? And you're going to wet that, let it soak for, you know, half an hour, and then just, you don't need to stretch it out because that's not what you would do with the jumper. Just lie it down on a mat and just, you know, pat it into place, arrange it into place and let it dry. And then you can um, measure your, your gauge. Measure it before you block it as well. So measure it before you block and then after you block. So that's the trick of knitting in the round and why you should do it. Um, I think sometimes when you know why, it makes all the difference, doesn't it? And, um, and hopefully you get a much better result and a jumper in the end that actually fits you.